All right, guys, we're going to show you how to replace your rear shocks on a 2013 Acadia. First thing, taking the wheel off. I'm going to jack the car up, take the wheel off. We just finished this side. So now we are ready to rock and roll on the other side. We'll dive right in, show you guys everything you need. We're using an impact here and a 7 8 They seem to have done it. We have three people! Yep. Three people on. guys welcome to the arctic vet youtube channel today we're going to show you guys how to replace your rear shocks on a 2013 acadia step one here is going to be to jack the car up and get the wheel off yeah we're clear all right there Hi. so we just gotta jack it up high enough to get the wheel off once we get that wheel off, we will show you guys some more. Um, you're going to need a 7 8 socket, a 10 millimeter socket, 7 8 uh, open end wrench. We're free. You're probably going to need two jacks. Grab that 10 millimeter here, 7 8 3 quarters, little pry bar, and a hammer. Plus your new shock. You're going to need your new shock. So, you're going to want to move your brake line out of the way. Let's go get that out of the way. So this guy here, we're going to break him free. And we just have to loosen enough so that we can turn it down. Uh, I think we might be right there. Let me turn that down some. Yeah. You just gotta be able to do that because this bolt right here is gonna be coming out and this is in the way. Let's just go ahead and take three knock quarters. Out the three, three quarters on the nut, seven eight on the bolt. Oh, I need another socket. Oh, nope, not right. That's not as well. There we go. Now it's take not even the like eighty thousand miles, and these things are shot. <laughs> Camera there. Camera that guy out. This is where the pry bar comes in. You want to use that to hammer it the rest of the way out. And boom! There it's loose. And we gotta jack that. It's shocking. <laughs> now what we use for this? Yeah. Uh, three quarters. So that bottom, what size is that bottom one there? Uh, seven eighths. So I'm that guy down there is seven eighths. So seven eighths right here. Get that free. That's where the second jack comes in handy. So now I just get that bolt out. So, we need to hammer it in to pry that out. Tap that out. Turn the top. Turn the top. Put the Boop. There we go. Check the compression ratio on that. <laughs> You can probably just do it with your hand, huh? I mean, yeah, sure enough. Bad. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to do that. Let's grab the new one. Oh, I already got it right there. <clears throat> and so when you put this in, hold on, don't show them the bottom real quick. Yeah. You want to make sure that 
this side here is pointing towards the hole. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it has a little groove right there. Yeah. Fit it. Can I show them the groove? Yep. There it is. So make sure, make sure you do that. Um, you can spin those. So if you've already got the top in, you can spin the bottom half. Hammer, tap it in there a little bit. Yeah, this was kind of a challenge to get them back in there. Bingo. Now, see if we can get this in there. Yep. Kind of start off that other one. Now we're just going to put it all back together. Uh, get the hammer and tap that in there a bit. Yeah, I gotta start the. It doesn't need threaded yet. We just need to. Yeah, one of them. Boom. And then we're ready to go. Warm. It is getting a little toasty out here, but now that if that top bolt is back in, we can go ahead and put our brake bracket back in there. You get it? Yeah, go ahead. And you just want to make sure that that top clip Hold on, you're gonna have to loosen a little bit. Oh. We'll make sure that gets in that hole. I see it, I see it. came out. There we go. Okay. Good. Now it's in there. And tight. So, boom. Now, last thing is that bottom bolt on the shock itself. Now, it does rotate, so again, make sure it's in that. Yes, so let's reiterate. Slot. That. Get them out. Now it seems like this is slightly too high. If okay. you look at it, I can lower it. Put that in. Mm, just Hold like on. that. I don't think we need that washer. No, that's fine. Okay. And just like that, we're all done. So we can. Yeah, there you go, Sean. We're gonna drop the second jack there get it out of the way roll our wheel back in get it back on get the lugs ready for you oops sorry no you're good And that is a job done and done well quickly. So if this video helped you guys out, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Drop us some comments down below. Let us know if you've had similar trouble or if this video did help you out. If you haven't already, please click that red subscribe button. Ask three of your friends and family members to also subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand. We're really close. We're coming in here right now at about we're clocking into 600 coming in quick um that means there's only 400 more to go help us out we'll catch you guys in the next video have a great day and god bless y'all saturday november 6th <laughs> in our jesus calling book today the devotional is seek to please me above all else as you journey through today there will be many choice points along your way most of the day's decisions will be small ones you have to make quickly. You need some rule of thumb to help you make good choices. Many people's decisions are a combination of their habitual responses and their desire to please themselves or others. This is not my way for you. Strive to please me in everything, not just in major decisions. This is possible only to the extent that you are living in close commun communion with me. When my presence is your deepest delight, 
you know almost instinctively what will please me. A quick glance at me is all you need to make the right choice. Delight yourself in me more and more. Seek my pleasure in all you do.